Doctor, let's talk about omega-3, omega-6, as we wow. hear an awful lot about that. Uh, yeah, that's it. How should we look at those nutrients? I mean, what do we need to know about them? Well, one of the things we need to know, there have been studies that show that, that they decrease the death rate from heart attacks by huge amounts statistically. They decrease the death rate from heart attacks by something like 60%. Both of them? Omega-6 and yeah, 3? Yeah, the combination. Okay. Uh, there's a ratio, depends on which product you have, mm -hmm. but usually uh, whatever the ratio is for your particular product, uh, but the omega-3 and omega-6 uh, are good for, uh, for, for heart circulation, circulation in general, mm -hmm. and, they are, uh, and they're good for the brain. Uh, the DHE, the DHE, dihydro, uh, well, that's the omega-3, not one of the omega-3s. The, the uh, that is very good for brain function. I had to take enough of it, my brain won't remember. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, but uh, memory and cognitive thinking, very important to have adequate amounts of oil. The brain is about 90% oil. Nervous tissue is made from, uh, from lecithin-type uh, nutrients, mm -hmm. which is choline and an os uh, phosphatidylcholine, and it's a phosphate type phosphorus hooked onto choline, which is, and choline is a, uh, a B vitamin. It's an, a rather okay. obscure, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an almost fat-soluble B vitamin, which again is unusual because most B vitamins are, are water-soluble. Mm -hmm. That's, that's a, basically a definition of, uh, of most vitamins. There's, there's, there's water-soluble and fat-soluble. And the distinction, I think, is overrated. Uh, but uh, a, a lot of the best thiamine, which is vitamin B1, which is water-soluble, has, has been modified to, to, uh, to be oil-soluble. So now mm -hmm. you have an oil-soluble B vitamin, which, again, is a little bit of an oxymoron, mm -hmm. <laughs> a little bit of a contradiction mm -hmm. in terms. But uh, that vitamin is very good for treating very serious neuropathies, dangerous, that, that's uh, damaged nerves. And damaged nerves are very hard to treat, very, very hard to deal with, mm -hmm. very hard to have. They can be very painful and crippling. You mentioned a ratio when talking about omega-6 and 3. You know, a lot of doctors will say we get too much omega-6 the way it is, just in the way most diets are based. Is that true? And you know, I've I've, I've never figured that one out really. Okay. I you know I I've, uh, I. A lot of these things come along, and they're almost old wives' tales. And uh, so I don't know how important those ratios are. Uh, they probably have some value, or somebody wouldn't have come up with it. But very often, there are things that, that's like vitamin D. Vitamin D 30 years ago was, was an absolute no-no. Mm -hmm. Iodine. I grew, grew up uh, saying, saying no, no, nobody should have more than 150 micrograms of iodine. And now it comes out that we need at least at least uh, 1,100 micrograms of iodine, and some people say we need 20,000 micrograms of iodine. And, there's, mm. and they can give good supporting evidence that that's so. So when we run into these omega-3, omega-6, uh, sometimes I kind of go by my gut feeling, and that's been, my gut feeling has been very good over the years, and I haven't found that to be very useful ratios.